On, guys today we're looking at the combat slab now the combat slab is specifically going to be delivered to the eardrum uh, what we're looking to do is pop someone's eardrum uh, there's a right way to do it there's a wrong way to do it now the right way to do it is like this we're going to um, come with an open hand and a cupping hand right why do we come with a cupping hand instead of like a an open hand because if we slap someone on the ear like they might um get a little ringing in the ear like i've had it done to me before kyle you've had it done in wrestling i'm sure like it you know it sucks and it's like your ear rings for a second you're like all right i'm good now but when we actually come and we cup our hand and we come here, it's actually creating a suction, right? A vacuum on the eardrum. So we come here. This isn't the slap isn't what actually bops or bursts the eardrum. It's the then suction releasing it like a suction cup. Wah! That's what actually pops and bursts the eardrum. So that's why we cup our hand. Now we can come here with an open hand and do the same thing, but it's not going to be as necessarily effective. It's hit or miss. We don't want hit or miss. We want deliberate. So when we do strike at the ear, obviously it's the same thing as if I'm throwing a hook, right? I'm turning my body into it. I'm not just throwing with the hand or the arm. I'm actually throwing my whole body into it. And that's the same thing with the combat slap. We're going to come and we're going to come here. Hopefully when we peel away, it creates that vacuum, that suction that we need to actually uh, rupture the eardrum. And rupture is a good word for it. I've had this done to me before. Um, absolutely sucked. I remember I was, I was like just Everything went spinning. There was music playing. And all I remember hearing is of the bass. And like literally the fight was over. I, I was not able to continue fighting. Like even if I wanted to, and I did want to continue fighting, uh, but it was just game over for me, right? So this is what we're going for here. Like the example I give is like, maybe we're both in the club. Some shit happens over a girl. I see he's reaching into his pocket and he's about to pull something out, right? Oh shit, combat slap. Maybe then I come with a two-on-one and a shot to the groin, and I make sure that he's not going to pull that thing out, right? Um, but we want to make sure that when we deliver this, number one, it's warranted. Like, there's no other option for us. Number two, we want to make sure that it works. But number three, and most importantly, is we want to assume that it doesn't work. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to slap, but then I'm going to be immediately going in to option B and C, right? So primary, secondary, tertiary, always. So one, we come here. Then two, we come here. Then maybe three, we come here, right? Or whatever. So always be prepared to throw three strikes at a time, at least, at least, maybe four, five, six, whatever, right? And follow it up. Just be savage until, until you don't need to be anymore, until he goes down. Obviously, in this club, in the street, check around who's, who's going to throw a bottle at my head from behind me. That's happened to me, too. <laughs> so you got to be very careful about all of this street shit. That's why we always say, like, yeah, MMA is great. It's cool. But, like, this street type shit, you learn more from experience is, is, is I'm attempting to, I'm just attempting to pass on some of the knowledge I have um, from the street shit for those of you guys who want to listen. And I appreciate very much those of you guys who do want to listen. Um, comment, like, subscribe, share. ButterfightingSecrets.com is the website. Check it out. We've got sturdy street grappling. We've got all kinds of good knife offense, defense. I'll show you how to remove centuries with a knife. Like, you'll like it. Butterfighting Secrets. Com. Until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. See you next time, Mother Flowers. Cheers.